all of the problems associated with audio uh, are extremely logical problems in the analog domain. Any problem that you have will ultimately have a simple solution. Mm-hmm. You, you just need to find that simple solution. Sure. It, it's it's startling when you realize that, uh, you know, people who've been raised in a computer paradigm where so many of the problems are hidden and baffling because they're a function of misbehaving software, which you can't see operating, right? Right. And you don't that know the it, language and you don't there's get There's just a, there's a, there's a, a presumption that problems are kind of intractable and or unknowable, right? And I came into audio engineering at the end of the analog era where everything was still sort of rooted in electromechanical principles where, you know, you you trace the wire and see where the wire is broken. Right, <laughs> sure. Basically. Sure. Uh, and, but that, that paradigm doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, it does exist on, a, uh, on the front end of audio systems, but inside a computer, nobody has any fucking idea what's going on yeah. on any of, in any of that stuff. There's a drop-down menu, and it says, you know, like, what value of shadow enhancement do you want on uh-huh. your, you know, or, <laughs> like, how many, you know, what, what... What pixels are you looking for? Exactly, yeah. like, and there's no... There's no intuitive grasp of any of that. You have to learn the protocols and the language and the and the and the the hieroglyphics for every single system that you're working on. Whereas in the analog domain, everything is very straightforward. It's all laid out right in front of you. You can follow the signal chain. You can check every contact. You can you know there's a there's there's a logic to it which suits my personality. Like I like to be able to solve the problems concretely, yeah. and then once they're solved, I don't have to fucking think about them again. You know? 